My name is Luis and I have post-finasteride syndrome. I began taking finasteride 1 mg for hair loss uh, when I was 27 years old. It was on the 22nd of December 2016. I can still remember the date. What a Christmas present. It was the worst decision of my life, no doubt. I had previously read about the potential side effects of finasteride and did my research, but the studies showed a very low incidence of side effects, between 1 and 3%, but those were going to fade away uh, when the drug was seized. So it didn't look very concerning to me at that time. Moreover, when I visited doctors, both my dermatologist and my GP, they told me it was a very safe treatment, especially in people my age, so I should not expect any undesirable side effects. However, I felt something was wrong pretty quickly. In a few days, my semen lost consistency, so I assumed that was fairly normal. However, three weeks into the drug, I began to feel numbness in my genitals. Uh, throughout the day, it was a really uncomfortable and weird situation like feeling your penis is not part of your body. So I thought about quitting the drug, but those effects improved in the following weeks and the results on hair loss were going great. So I decided to continue the treatment. Over the following two years, I developed symptoms in a very gradual way. Lack of morning good, low libido, weaker erections, occasional numbness in genitals, Penis syncrete, I lost size as well, began to feel mild gynecomastia, also cognitive symptoms that I didn't associate to finasteride at that moment, irritability, lower tolerance to frustration, and even depression symptoms. Sometimes a deep sadness would kick in and I would begin to cry for no reason in the middle of the street, feeling despair on a lovely sunny day, but my life was going alright. I didn't understand what was happening. I thought it was like an existential crisis. Now I know it was something chemical, that was not the case. I began to develop like a lack of connection between my penis and my brain. Not like the numbness that I have experienced before, but like feeling that if a manual stimulation of of your genitals would do no effect in your arousal. You could have an erection but not to be aroused. Of course, spontaneous erections were just a hopeful, a hopeful dream, not something that was happening to me at the time. That lack of total connection between your body and your brain was very uncomfortable. For me, this is one of the scariest symptoms of this drug. After checking this with Several doctors, I reduced the dose to 0.5 milligrams, but the side effects only continued. I remember a new prominent purple vein, like a bad looking vein, not the normal one, appeared on my penis, and I was feeling like a sensation of inflammation down there. Doctors did not believe that this was due to finasteride, but as soon as I stopped the drug for a few days, the inflammation feeling disappeared. So I stopped the drug for two months. Within two or three days, morning good and my libido came back and my erections became stronger. Not 100% as before, but substantially better. My doctor told me to try a mix of topical finasteride and minoxidil uh, to prevent hair loss and he assured me many times, and I was insisting on, on this, that the topical finasteride was not going to penetrate systemically, so maybe I was sensitive to drug, but I would be fine on topical finasteride. Topical was harmless. That is what he said. I regret so much falling for the same mistake again, just because I wanted to keep my hair. And I was in topical finasteride for 10 months, at the beginning it was amazing, the results on my hair were outstanding, better than with the peel. And I thought that I should have always taken the topical one instead of the oral one. And the side effects uh, did not improve, 
but they stayed the same as when I was not having anything. That was my biggest mistake. After six months, the decline began and it was quite quick. My erections became weaker than ever, uh, not being functional for the first time. It was not that, that I had low libido, it was like I had no libido at all. Nothing. I did not want to be intimate with my partner and obviously this affected the relationship even though my partner was very supporting. The veins of my penis were very sensitive but the worst part were the cognitive symptoms that were new and very strong. I was working as an investment analyst at that time and I was not able to concentrate at all, to read the financial report in front of me. I had no ability to focus at all. I, I could not read. And I thought, okay, this is enough. I cannot ruin my life due to fears of losing my hair. So this was the time when I quit the pill. And I thought everything was over. But it was not the case. It just become, became worse after quitting, to be honest. All symptoms kicked in harder. I had uh, the so-called finasteride crash. New issues came up within days. Suddenly I noticed brutal changes that turned my whole life upside down. I, I had to quit my job, for instance. I began to have huge problems with my sleep. I have always been a guy who would literally sleep within seconds of getting into bed. And it didn't matter if I slept 6, 7, 10, 12 hours, it doesn't matter. I would not be able to get up because I was extremely tired. And I, I did not rest, regardless the number of hours. I would spend 2 hours on average since I woke up to get up from the bed. Because I was feeling like I was very heavy in the bed and I was unable to, to, to get up, literally. I had never felt this way in my whole life. I also had a total ability to concentrate, not being able to read, to study anything, literally incapacitated to do my job or to study anything. I had lack of motivation similar to being depressed, but I was actually not, not sad. I was not depressed. I had low energy, feeling like an like an 80 year old man standing up to take something from the kitchen would become a very difficult task. I would be thinking about doing it or not for 10 or 15 minutes. It was ridiculous. I also have a muscle waist. I could not feel the tension of my muscles. It was like my muscle was not responsive. Also visually I lost my muscle completely. My skin looked like fatty and loose, and I, and I was not fat. All the masculine look was gone. My skin was rubbery, looking like a melting cake. And I could not even do exercise. Nothing at all, not even a one push-up. It was completely ridiculous. Some days, the bad days, I would have anhedonia, feeling totally disconnected from from everything and everyone. I would just feel tremendously heavy mentally, physically, to the point of having to lay down in the floor. It's very difficult to explain. It was like being under the effects of some kind of recreational drug. If somebody tell me this happened from a hairless pill, I would not have believed him. Not at all. It is unbelievable that a med like this on the market, a safe med, can provoke these kind of symptoms. All these symptoms are life changing. So, my suggestion to everyone out there thinking about taking finasteride for hair loss is not worth it, really. It's not worth the risk. This has pretty much destroyed my life. I reported the, the issues to several doctors in Spain, but they did not believe me. Even for the undeniable physical symptoms, like gynecomastia, they had no answer for me. The problem with 
post finasteride syndrome is that most tests that you can do are all right. They, there may be some hormonal imbalance, but nothing major that can produce that load of symptoms. There was one doctor in the UK who actually believed me, but just suggested to let the time pass, as he could not really help me. He told me that he would not prescribe finasteride for hair loss because he was aware that these kinds of issues were happening for some patients after quitting the drug. So finally I contacted several international doctors and I am currently under a conservative treatment with one of them. He does not have a cure, that was clear from the very beginning, but it makes such a difference that a doctor is actually concerned about what's happening to you and he believes you and can understand the pain that you're going through. This is really important. I believe that the fact that doctors are not very aware about this and deny what you are going through is as damaging as the drug itself. The patients should never be left alone this way. We all know about the suicide cases from this condition. I was lucky enough to have my family, friends, an amazing girlfriend to support me on all this, but not everyone has that kind of support around him. I'm speaking up in this video just because I think it's important that researchers, doctors, people out there know that this can happen to anyone. And that if you're suffering this, you're not alone. There are dozens of thousands of people out there in the same situation. My suggestion is, tell the people around you who love you what is happening. Because that will help you emotionally a lot. It is liberating to share the pain. Most of them will be supportive rather than judgy, as you may think. I know many people with this condition suffering much worse symptoms affecting their personalities during years, potentially forever. If there's a message to be taken out of all this is this condition destroys lives in every aspect, socially, career-wise, everything. If you're out there worried about your hair, please consider twice before taking this medication. I regret taking finasteride every single morning Concerning my life now, I am still unable to work due to concentration and lack of motivation issues. Impaired cognition. Now my objective is to be able to work again, to recover my life. And all the other symptoms are secondary to me, but I really need to be functional again. There's no cure to this, but I'm convinced if there is life, there is hope. 